The steps to take in carrying out titration are as follows. Pipette the required volume of the aliquot into the conical flask. Add 2 to 3 drops of a suitable indicator, if necessary, to the aliquot. Fill the burette with the titron and record the initial burette reading. Drain the titron from the burette into the conical flask and swirl the contents in the conical flask continuously. Nearing the end point, rinse any solution on the inner side of the conical flask with deionized water. Drain the titron from the burette dropwise until a sharp color change is reached. Repeat the titration process until two consistent readings, which are within 0.10 cm cube of each other, are obtained. Watch the video in the next part to learn how to carry out the titration experiment. An indicator is usually a weak acid or weak base. It is a substance that changes color in response to pH changes of the solution it is added to. They are frequently employed in titrations to determine the end point, the point where there is a sharp color change of the aliquot in the conical flask after adding a certain volume of a titron. Different indicators show different colors in acidic and basic solution. In an acidic solution, metal orange is red, while in basic solution, it is yellow. At the end point of an acid-base titration, it is orange. In an acidic solution, Bromothymol blue is yellow, while in basic solution, it is blue. At the end point of an acid-base titration, it is green. In an acidic solution, phenolphthalein is colorless, while in basic solution, it is purple. At the end point of an acid-base titration, it is pale pink. 